here today for Lord Fawn and welcome back to the channel. Today is a part of Fortnite Holiday Week so I'm so excited to be joining in this year for this week and so for today's video I'm going to be creating some mini oven cards or tags. You can turn them into tags if you want. I'm going to have them as cards but I really love creating mini cards around the holiday season and tags and things like that just because I find I use a lot of them and so they are some of my favorite things to do so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm using the Sprinkled with Joy stamp set. This is an older stamp set but still an absolute favorite of mine and I just thought these little ovens would be the perfect size to create some mini cards with. I've done it before with other images but I really just wanted to make them a little bit more Christmassy and use the ovens this year. So I stamped out all of the elements that I wanted from that stamp set. I'm just stamping four of everything since I am going to be creating a set of four cuts. Then I'm pulling in the Bar Humbug stamp set and I'm just going to use that little bow that comes in the stamp set since I think it's really super duper cute and I really want it as an accent piece for the oven. So now that I've stamped out all of the images, I'm going to Copic color them in. So I am starting off with coloring the main area of the oven with some cool grays. So cool grays are my favorite for like metal things and um, things like that, just because I find they're the most realistic looking. So I decided to use C5, C3 and C1 for that. C5 being the darkest, obviously, and I started off with that first. And then I'm just going through and blending out the colors with the lighter shades that I have. And I decided to go for a really light oven today, just because I am going to color in the other accents pieces with a few darker colors and so I just thought it'd be a nice contrast. So here are the darker colors I'm going to be using. I decided to pull in some warm grays for this just because actually I don't really have a reason why I could have used darker cool grays but I don't know I just thought the warm tones would be a nice contrast. So that's what I went for. I used W7, W5 as my mid-tone and W3 as my lightest and I was blending all these areas together and making them all seamless. Now for the little like knobs and the screen I guess on the oven I'm not sure I am going to go and use some greens so I really wanted them to be Christmassy so I definitely chose Christmassy colors or like traditional Christmas colors so I'm using YG67, YG23 and YG03 for that. And then I'm bringing in some red and so this is my favorite red combination for like the holiday season. I am using R89 first as my darkest shade Then I'm blending that out with the R29 and then I'm blending that all together with the R17 and I just really love including like an R89 or like a dark red shade into like a Christmas red combination just because I feel like it really darkens it up and just makes it extra Christmassy I guess. I'm I'm not really sure but I just really love this combination. So once I finish coloring in the bows I'm going to move on to the rolling pins and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to incorporate the rolling pins or not um, but I did just feel like I really wanted an additional element on the cards so I decided to include it and I end up just like leaning it against the oven in the end. So I decided to use E59, E57 and E55 for that. I just kept them really simple since I didn't want to use two much of my time on some mini cards doing a lot of the coloring so I just kept those real simple and then I'm moving on to some cookies so I just imagine these would have icing on them so I used Y19, Y15 and Y11 for those and then I just colored in the little hearts and the trees in the same colors I used earlier as well as the trays I just cut that out of the video since there was a lot of coloring to get through. So now it's time to die cut out all of my elements. So for the oven, I'm using the interactive die add-on um, for that. So I'm going to die cut the ovens out of that die. And then I just pulled out the other dies from the original like coordinated die set. And um, I'm going to die cut the rest of the images as well. And I just did that all off camera and created little groups out of them. So I could um, get going on the rest of my die cutting. So now I'm going to be using the original coordinated die set once again and I'm going to cut four of these backer ovens out of white and four out of gray. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and use the same grey cardstock and die cut some little tab pieces four times and then I'm using some cilantro cardstock and this little um, handle piece that I believe came in the interactive die set as well and um, I'm going to cut that out four times of the cilantro cardstock just for the little handle and added pops of green. So now it's time to assemble one of the cards so I'm just going to do one of them and then do the rest off camera. So I added a little bit of score tape to the back of the oven here to adhere the little tab piece behind so you can add the little door underneath so it stays shut. Then I'm going to be adding foam tape around the rest of the uh, oven element and then I'm just going to adhere that onto the grey backer so it has somewhere for the little tray to sit and also so it's not completely open to the inside of the card. And then I just went ahead and added a little bit of vellum onto the back of the oven door just using some more score tape. Then it's time to adhere the tray on the inside. So I just did that all with a flat adhesive. I then adhered the little oven handle onto the front of the oven, as well as the bow and the rolling pin with foam tape. Then for the backer of the card, I just went ahead and took a Martha Stewart scoring tool and uh, scored that a little bit at the top and then added adhesive and adhered it onto the back of the oven. So that creates the little mini card. I just think they are so, so, so adorable. And as I said before, I really love creating mini cards. They're really easy to make and perfect for Christmas time. So now that I've gone ahead and made all four of the mini cards, I need a sentiment. If you were going to make a tag, you probably wouldn't need these sentiments. But since I really wanted them to be used as cards, um, I really wanted to add a sentiment. So I'm just using the Winter Scripty Words stamp set. And I'm just going to choose four of these sentiments and stamp and die cut them out using the coordinating dies and then I'm using a little bit of uh, liquid adhesive and I'm going to adhere these sentiments on the front of the ovens and I know that the tails like definitely hang off the sides but even though that may be like an issue and they may like crinkle and fold and things like that I think like if you're going to send them in the mail or put them on top of a gift just as like a mini card but on top of a present to like give to somebody I think it'll be fine and I just think it adds a nice element to it. So that finishes up the card portion and then if you wanted to change these into a tag I would just recommend before adding foam tape and things like that um, just punch through one of the little knobs on the oven to add a little bit of twine and there you have a really cute tag as well and then you don't have to add like the little um, card backer on the back if you don't want to as well so I think that would be a really fun idea. So that finishes up all four of my mini cards today. I really hope you guys enjoyed me making them. I just think it's a really fun idea and great for Christmas time. So thank you so much for stopping by. All the details are on the blog and I'll catch you all next time.